do we move on from here? Where did they pick you up? You look like you've walked through the whole Alb War to get here. Here. Take this. It looks like you could use it. Just don't tell anyone, all right? Thank you. We must all work together. Yeah. It's nice to know at least one other person gets that. Reaching out. It's the only way to prove we mean what we say. Thanks. The food is appreciated. Manners, too. <laughs> I hope you stick around. From now on, though, you'll have to fit in with the daily rations. Once a day, in the refectory. It might not be tasty, but it'll keep you alive. The daily rations are free for our happy family of clerics. Everyone else has to pay. How long have you been in charge of the refectory? I was assigned here, when the last food technician sent a dozen men to the infirmary. It wasn't my first choice, but the job came with a promotion, a safe posting, and a complete absence of rippers. Do you feed everyone here in the Hort? Yes, with help from others and our technology. It was join a faction and stay alive. So, glory to Kalan. Yes, there are some issues. Some of our order are a bit strict to the point of being an asshole and the food sucks, but at least we're not murderous outlaws. Do you have some food for me? I can understand that you're hungry. But you will have to wait 24 hours for another serving. That's the way it goes. What goods have you got? Of course. Ugh. Why is the food so bad? Ignadon's rocky soil isn't the best for growing things. So, we have to supplement with manufactured substitutes. Nutritionally balanced, designed for body, and a balanced metabolism. They sort of forgot the flavor. I can give you some food for my supplies. I take that offer of help. But you're right. Maybe supplementing our supplies is a good idea. I know some people on the outside who haven't joined a faction. They could trade with us. Yeah. That would help them, and us. If you need the food, take it from them. No. I came here to get away from people who think like that. We need trade, not theft and murder. That means finding someone who... Don't try anything, all right? Why haven't you started trading already? Because I want this done diplomatically. To organize something we can keep going in the future. That means finding someone who understands the people out there as well as those in here. Do you think that's you? I can negotiate the food supplies for you. This will take tact. I don't want guns waved around. There's to be no bloodshed. But if you really want to make a difference and help us start working together, then I'm prepared to trust you. They put together survival packs with fresh meat in them. They're hunters, you see. If you could get me 20 of those packs, Anything we can get to supplement what the foraging units bring in has to be a help. So talk to them and see if you can make it an ongoing arrangement. Where are the people you want to trade with? They've set up a makeshift camp southwest of Hort. Find our outpost out there and go north. You'll find them there. See what they need, and if we can make this a long-term arrangement, right? That will make a real difference. 
Do you have some food for me? I could, but you... You know stealing stuff's gonna land you in it. That's it, I'm out of here. Whoa, 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 watch yourself there. It's not safe around here. Trust me, you gotta watch your step. Otherwise, you'll end up squashed flatter than an Alb's conscience. Just be careful, all right? You think I should be afraid of a few rocks? Yes. Those rocks weigh a hell of a lot. Meaning if they fall, there won't be a hell of a lot left of you. But don't let me keep you with all my chatter. I've got to get back at it. I'm reckoning you're not that into war extraction techniques anyway. You're mistaken. I am? I can't sleep at night for my excitement over electrolysis and carbon monoxide reactions. Ha! Huh. Yeah. Yet weirdly, when I start talking about that stuff in bars, I put people to sleep. Here, take this. Always good to meet a fellow enthusiast. I found that out by the crater. Nice piece, isn't it? Hope you like it. What are you doing out here? Here? We are the farmers of industry. While there are those who tend the land to grow food, we... We... Feed industry. There's not a drone, fighting machine, or regulation hair clip that's not made of the metal we mine here. You farm the rock? And feed the production lines. They tried to fully automate the process, but it failed. They claim it's too tricky for robots. <laughs> I think it's just too tricky for the programmers. They assumed mining was easy, and so... <laughs> several flat robots proved them wrong. Well, producing enough for the front line is the Hort's first priority. Besides, there's more to mining than boring and smashing. Not that the people they send here are always better than machines. Cross us a jester and there's a good chance you'll get sent here to try and mine out rock after someone's rewired your brain. But maybe you're not a prisoner sent here by a suggester. Do you need something doing here? Maybe, but outsiders don't usually work out well here. Listen, don't get me wrong. You came from outside and I'm still talking to you. That should be enough to make it clear I don't have anything against you. But, you know, this work is tricky. That said, maybe I can think of a way for you to earn some shards. If you're willing. What do you want doing? It's a bit of an ask, but an outsider's my best bet for getting it done. You see, I want Eli to disappear. He's a prisoner here, and he's... Well, he's a threat to the community. And now the suggesters are saying they can correct him. That they can put him in armor and send him out with weapons. And I am telling you, the guy is a ticking time bomb. That can only end badly. Why do you think he's dangerous? I saw it in his eyes. There was nothing but blank hate there. I don't care how strong those suggesters think they are. It's hardwired into him. They ain't gonna erase that with suggestion. He is going to blow and they will have put a weapon in his hand when he does. He needs to be taken care of before he kills people we do need. 
Why can't you just leave Eli to the suggestors? Oh, they can be successful. I've seen enough people turn up here like drones after being given the treatment, but it's not 100%. And taking a chance with him is taking a chance with other people's lives. How is that a fair gamble? Besides, I don't want him hanging around here as a cleric. <laughs> no, someone needs to get Eli out of that place and through the Hort's gate. Then someone can kill him outside the Hort and no one would know. They'd all assume he'd escaped. And you want me to do that? I know it's a lot to ask, but... well, yes. It's your choice. I'm sorry to put you in this position, but the words have been said. Now you have to choose if you'll help me. I've put my trust in you. Watch yourself around here. None of us want any more rock slides. Watch yourself... You can get away with that. <laughs> you need training.
Larson, the Berserker. And? Who are you? Oh, I can see from that look. Angrim sent you, didn't he? How did you get here from Adan? Look around you. That should give you a clue. As we left Goliath, we ran into a group of clerics. The guards, the ones Angrim sent to kill me, decided to pick a fight. They lost. The clerics saw I was a prisoner and gave me a choice. Fight, leave and be free, or come and join them. A choice. An actual, real choice. Not like Angrim. And so I'm here. And so, now you found me. And so, what happens now? Angrim wants you dead, but I'll let you live. You travel half the world and you let me live? How can I trust you? You'd prefer it if I just killed you. Now you do sound like you've come from Angrim. No, I'll live. Now I finally got a chance to. But if you do go back to Goliath, tell Akira I'm doing all right. And if she can ever tear herself from her plants, she knows where to find me. I'll make sure she gets your message. Thanks. You know, I thought Angrim would send someone after me. But there's no way I thought that person would leave me alive. It seems not everyone in Goliath is an asshole. If you find Akira, tell her she should give you my old things. I'm not going back there, so you might as well have them. Take them as thanks. The world is changing. We must all see that. The world is... I can't let you get away with that. Got it. Damn. I can't let you get... Teach me. Good. yourself around. Put that weapon away. You want that stupid? 
weapon after all. The world is changing. to me, disciple of Kalan. There was an uprising in the domed city of Abessa. And so, another stray comes to seek safety in the arms of Kalan. Welcome to the Horde, the stronghold of the clerics. Your presence here can only mean that Kalan's light shines upon you. Open yourself to this opportunity. Give yourself over to the teachings of Kalan. Not interested. Then you turn your back not only on Kalan, but on your own future. You should learn what Kalan offers all of us. Then I'm sure you will make the correct decision. Tell me more about Kalan. Before the comet burned the face of Magalan, the prophet Arvid foresaw the danger. He received the teachings of Kalan in whispers and tried to warn the people of Magalan of the horror that was to come. They must reject the distractions of the world and give themselves over to the pursuit of knowledge. Each must seek the purity of knowledge. Each must seek out the strongest, the fittest, the brightest. And so Kalan came to the people and promised if they did this, if they worked together to follow the path to the infinite skies, then he would save them from the horror that was to come. But they would not listen. And so, the comet destroyed the civilization that was here on Magalan. Now, if we are to survive the dangers that are yet to come, we must listen to the words of Kalan and hear his wisdom. Only the pure will be taken up into the infinite skies. Only under the infinite skies will we truly see all. We must trust in Kalan. Where is Kalan supposed to take you? Up to the infinite skies. To where knowledge counts above all. There, we will truly see the universe as it is. The path to enlightenment is difficult. And only those who are worthy will receive Kalan's blessing. Look inside yourself and take my words to heart. May they be a guide in the times to come. Who are you? I am Oswald. When Brother Rainer found me, I was just a wretched pile of misery. I was blind to who I could be. Rainer built me up, gave purpose to my life. Now, I'm spreading the teachings that saved me from destroying myself in hope that those words can be the salvation of others, that they can save all of Magala. So I invite you to stay here and contemplate with us, brother. This is a Kalan will take the pure. We did not save their souls, but instead allowed their disease of heresy to spread, tempting and ruining others. Thanks for his safe homecoming, and welcome him back among his brethren. Stop! 
Where do you think you're going? What is this area? You are here at the Chamber, the Palace of Sinners. Break the commandments of Kalan and Ignodon, and the Chamber will welcome you. Can you walk in and look around? Well, as it happens, you can. Reinhold recently ordered that everyone can enter to see with their own eyes what we do with heretics. So, go in and look around. If anything will push back the power of temptation, it's what you'll see in there. Move along there. Keep clear of this area. against Kalan. I must face my punishment. Let my faith be proven. No. I acted against Kalan. No. 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 I'm not ready yet. Kalan will guide me. Kalan must offer me salvation. No. 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 I'm not ready yet. Kalan will guide me. Kalan must offer me salvation. No. 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 Not me. I won't. Kalan will save me. Got it. Sin. No. No, Got please. It. Not today. For father. No. No, 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 no. Not yet. I can't. Kalan will save me. Those self-righteous bastards. They should all rot. Every last one of them. Can't you see the truth about them? And you? What about you? Don't tell me you're planning on joining those lunatics. You can't be that stupid! Just get me the fuck out of here, will you? These bastards have got no right to keep me here! You're obviously not here willingly. No shit! I was kidnapped, so they could try and brainwash me into joining this... cult! But they won't get me so easily. How did you end up here? They said we attacked one of their outposts. Total bullshit. What do they think I am, suicidal? Anyway, they wouldn't listen. They dragged me here and tried to brainwash me. But their bullshit didn't take. I remembered everything. And so instead of setting me free, they dropped me down here. Where are you from? Tavar. A bunch of these assholes came over the border. These idiots I was with were too busy fighting among themselves to see the clerics creeping up on us. They ambushed us out there and then dragged us to Ignadon after we'd been wounded. But you do have a plan. Plan? I don't have a plan. Not yet. I just know I have to get out of here. I won't let them turn me into some mindless slave. 
And you expect me to help you? Expect? I don't expect anything. But I hope you can see what these clerics say about free people is bullshit. They don't care about freedom. They want to brainwash you. So, will you help me? I know the dangers, but it's very wrong for him to be kept against his will. Maybe. Maybe? What's maybe? This is a world of action. Maybe won't save you when they try to fry your mind, like they tried with me. You think on that. So, about your escape... You must have some ideas. First thing, it can't be my escape. I want my friend to get out of here too. I gotta get my friend Wolf out of here somehow. Only problem is, he's already one of them. He thinks he's a fucking cleric. I've spoken to him. He doesn't remember a damn thing about me. Or where he came from. But that's not your problem, I suppose. I can handle that if you get me a weapon and a disguise. Get me that, and we can move forward from there. But hurry. I don't know how long I can hold out against the suggestors. Two days, and they might take my mind. Is there any equipment you need to help your escape? Well, my axe will be useful. I'll bet it's being stored in the house of the Suggestors. They store anything they confiscate in there. It's bound to be guarded, though, so be careful. And if you can get me some clothing from the merchants in the Miner's Quarter, that should help me get out without being noticed. I can't escape in this clothing. But when you get the stuff, bring it all together, okay? This cell doesn't give me a chance to hide anything from the eyes of the clerics, okay? Wolf wants to see you dead. Of course he does. He's been brainwashed. He thinks he's a cleric now. Poor bastard. Cause trouble, you get trouble. Got it. What is it you want? It's prayer time, so make it quick. What is this place? Here, we bring peace and honor to those who refuse Kalan. For only an honorable death can bring salvation. Only an honorable death can purify a tainted soul. And so, I bring honor to the souls who break Kalan's commandments. This is cruelty. Think what you want, Berserker. But you will see what happens when you stand before Kalan one day, and he turns you away. Then you will pray for this honor. And I thought exile was cruel enough. Lead me to my prayer.
all who have faith will be saved. Any asshole caught stealing will be sent to the suggestors. Why do you assume everyone wants to steal from you? I have my reasons. And I have to look after my stocks. We're low on resources here. I can't go wasting them on thieves. And sure, it would be great if every acolyte could get the armor we make for paladins, but my supplies are limited. Only those who have acquired that rank can get that reward. I want to trade. Right you are. I'll show you what you can buy at your rank. Stone and metal. If only they spent such effort healing the planet instead of ripping her flesh from her bones. Computer controlling access to something. I should leave this for now. that happens here. So much so that some have taken to calling me the Eye of Kalan. I am Reinhold, Judicator. I stand watch for all those in the Hort, and the Hort stands as the guardian for all of Magellan. Such a duty requires vigilance. It means I must ask of everyone who comes here, are you friend or foe? Do you come here to gain the blessings of the clerics, or to oppose us? Why should I join you? Because we can show you the path to salvation, for yourself 
and for all of Magalan. The Prophet Arvid helped preserve the knowledge of the past and set us on a course to use it to build a future. You can be a part of that future. You can find your true purpose amongst our ranks. I don't want to join a faction. One day you must face that choice. I hope that day brings you back to us. Then trade, explore, meet our people while you are here, and may Kalan offer you guidance as you do. May your time in the Hort be peaceful and productive. Tell me about the other Judicators. Judicator Johan fell on the battlefield. His is the highest honor. May Kalan have mercy on his soul. Judicator Ulbricht is responsible for the defense of Idan and all operations outside its borders. His is the grave duty of overseeing the war against the Owls. If you have any intelligence that might help him in his duties, you will find him in the upper halls of the cathedral. Tell me more about the clerics. What would you like to know? What's happening in the city? Kalan is wise. But mysterious. Through the prophet Arvid, he warned us of the comet and the downfall of our world. He laid down the foundations for the clerics out of the ashes of the old civilization. To Kalan, knowledge and wisdom are sacred. It is through knowledge and understanding that we can find our way to the infinite skies and a true understanding of ourselves. Infinite skies. A place of true enlightenment and salvation. Kalan teaches us that the comet's fires will not be the only challenge we face in our quest for survival. If we are to save the people of this world, we must teach them Kalan's ways. That we must work together and gather all the knowledge we can. Because when the next catastrophe strikes our world, only those who have been prepared will survive. Where did you get your technological knowledge? Arvid himself left behind this knowledge. The gathering of old world knowledge, and the order to further it, was his greatest gift to all who have followed him. It has given us the machines that allow our way of life to continue. It has given us the technology we need to be ready for the next challenge we face. So, as you see, science and religion do not have to be mutually exclusive. Tell me how promotion works within the Horde. People who are new to our ranks are welcomed as an acolyte. Acolytes can learn the art of suggestion, train and learn the fundamentals of our way of life. The same applies for our legates and paladins. Each new rank brings new advantages, obligations and privileges such as equipment. Why would I want to become a cleric? Because we are the last bastion against the Owls. Our strength, our faith, and our technology are the only things that can stop them. Where the outlaws profit and the berserkers roll in the dirt, we have knowledge. The knowledge to make the world into what it once was and much more. Join us and you can participate in our knowledge, faith, and our technology. So, who are you, the welcoming committee? I am adjudicator. I oversee everything in the Hort, from punishment to initiation. Explain the rules of the Hort to me. Well, Kalan's commandments are simple and fair. They are rules to be found in many places, but to us, they are sacred. Theft, physical assault, murder, the dealing of chems, are all punishable offenses. You may face a fine, re-education, or for the worst offenders, execution. And of course, your soul will pay the price. Stay with us, and you will learn of Kalan and his ways. Abide by the words of the great prophet Arvid, and you will open your way to eternity. Eternity, check. So, you decide who becomes a cleric and who doesn't? Correct. 
Initiates are only allowed to join us when I decide they are worthy. And should they complete the tasks that are given to them, then I would welcome them into our community. And every acolyte that joins us can then begin on the path of enlightenment to gain promotion here. I'm not sure. I would like to think about it. Each man must choose his own path. I hope you change your mind. But, in the meantime, perhaps you could assist me in something. I could use the help of someone who hasn't had time to establish themselves here. Someone with a more objective viewpoint. We've recently had to deal with the sad deaths of some of the faithful who... wandered. Wandered right into the arms of a chem dealer. Every one of us suffers temptation, and all must hope they can prevail against it. But those who deal in misery, who exploit the weakness of others, they are a problem that must be eliminated. Complete this task, and you will open the door to becoming a cleric, a true warrior for Kalan. Is chem dealing a big problem here in the Hort? I had thought we were free of their vile product. But it seems we do have something of a problem. A large reward has been offered to anyone able to bring them to justice. That should prevent this from becoming a bigger problem. If you think you can find these dealers, I would welcome your insight. It is significant that Elix causes so many problems everywhere. We are bound together by our weaknesses. Then remember that next time you send your mechs into Idan. It is clear to me that we must face the Albs together. It is the Berserkers who have clung to our history of warfare. So, you think you are responsible for holding back the Albs? That is the task of the clerics now. Personally, I oversee the defense of the Hort. It is Judicator Ulbricht who is overseeing the war against the Albs. Not a task that I envy him. But then at least his work is black and white. There are Albs, and there are clerics. While I must decide which category these separatists belong in. Visitors, vagrants, travelers, and enigmas. They are all part of my responsibility. About the chem dealers here in the Hort. Yes. Do you have any leads on where they may be operating? Well, I had given Dietrich the task of investigating them, but he doesn't seem to have had much luck so far. You should check what leads he has. To my knowledge, he had slimmed the investigation down to three suspects. You should start with them. Who does Dietrich suspect? He can explain his methodology to you. But as I recall, it was a simple process of rejecting anyone who lacked the requisite access and opportunity. You should speak with the guards who were on duty at the time. Try and get that information as a written report. Anecdote and memory are best not relied on in these cases. Are there any more details you can tell me about the chem dealing? Well, these cases are difficult. Once you find someone who has lapsed into use, they rarely give up the culprit for hope of keeping their supply. But in this case, the user let slip the time of the deal. So we've been working backwards from there. The user involved, though, well... He is no longer in a position to provide us with useful information. And so we are relying on getting reports from the guards that can help us place who was where on the night in question. Let us hope this line of investigation produces something concrete. Where can I find these guards? Well, there's Xander. He was on duty at the main gate on the night in question. Then there is the mine guard and the factory guard. Have you been to the mine? If not, you will find it to the west, below the cathedral. The factory guards patrol to the north, by the mech production facilities. A 
about. Yeah? I think I know who the chem dealer is. So, you have already spoken to the three guards and collected their reports? No, I haven't spoken to them yet. And yet you still think you can name a suspect? No, I had better... That would... Alt. State your business. Only officially authorized personnel may enter. The Archives are sacred stores of knowledge. Our faith preserves us, and we preserve the wisdom of our ancestors. What wisdom? The scriptures, the writings, the texts, the foundation of our faith, and old world manuals that support our technology. Here the worthy study. Here the worthy learn. And unless you're worthy, you aren't coming in. Forget it. I was about to go anyway. Then don't let me keep you. Alan, bless your path. Another thing about the Archives. What are you studying? Everything that brings us closer to our goal. What does that mean? It means passing Kalan's tests. Kalan only takes those who are pure, and so to preach his words, we must be the purest of all. And knowledge, facts, interpretation, and analysis are the purest form of all devotion. And science is the purest of all the forms of study. It brings clarity to the mind. To achieve purity of the soul, we must understand ourselves. The Berserkers and the Outlaws will never have the discipline for that. They live in the moment. We have committed ourselves to the future. May Kalan open the infinite skies for us all. Do you also study the old world? Of course. If we repeat the mistakes of our ancestors, it could lead to another catastrophe. That is one of the reasons why we only task those with the strongest wills to study. Who knows what corrupting influences these artifacts could have. Where do you get the material to study? It takes persistence and luck. We send out our reclamation squads to search old world ruins. First, the selected area has to be pacified. As soon as that is done, we begin salvaging the valuable pieces and bringing them here. How can I get on a reclamation squad? You can't. We have specialists for that work. Trust me, you wouldn't want to. Got it. 